Hello, my name's Keir. I've been a public health engineer for about three years now. I've worked on quite a few projects all over the world in all shapes and sizes, from welcome centres to high-rise mixed-use developments to even bigger super high-rise skyscrapers. From a tiny fit-out of an office floor plate to complete oversight developments. When I first left university, I had no idea what I wanted to do. But I knew I enjoyed engineering with water as well as sustainable design, both of which are integral to public health engineering. As public health engineers, we design water distribution systems in buildings, from tank to pump set to tap, whether it's cold, hot, recycled, chilled, or even pure. They all have their applications as well as their challenges. We design systems that produce hot water using gas, electricity, the sun, the ground, and even the wind. We design drainage systems from roof outlet to below ground and everything in between. Attenuating the flow to relieve stress on ancient Victorian sewers through tanks in the basement or even on the roof. Green roofs are used to attenuate rainwater, but also to add biodiversity, improve air quality, and reduce the heat island effect. We can use stormwater for toilet flushing throughout the building to reduce the water footprint. And when it's a bit drier in the summer months, we can use the condensate drainage from mechanical equipment. Or maybe it's a hotel. We can use the showers and wash hand basins for toilet flushing too. It's not all just pipes and valves. We design fire suppression systems to protect all sorts of buildings. A wet system to protect an office, a dry system to protect a car park, or even a phone system for a chemical processing plant. And if the client is worried about wet services, there may be a pre-action system. Nobody can see into the future, but it doesn't take a visionary to understand how important sustainable water design will continue to be, and how, as public health engineers, we can make a lasting positive impact on the planet.